here I was at 27 years old, bored in the crib because of COV-19. And I was like, you know what? I should play episodes. I should find probably the most poverty drug dealing episode that I can find on there. I just now learned how to get other episodes. My last one, I don't know if y'all seen it, but my best friend, he was like, Yo, hey man, tee I like somebody. He, he wanted my butt. He was trying to get in my cheeks for real, for real. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I let him get my cheeks late. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I feel like, you know, there's certain things that you don't cross. And one is, you know, I'm supposed to get in them cheeks, boy. So I was sitting there scrolling through, finding the most poverty one I could possibly find, and I found Drug Dealer's Girl remade. Now this is where, first of all, it's made by Tina. And that bitch, Megan Thee Stallion type beat. Witta gets sold, first of all, who the, Witta? Witta gets sold by her brother to a drug dealer. So we talking about sex trafficking, you know what I'm saying? I don't condone it, but you know what I'm saying? Yeet, <laughs> this should be terrible. Moving to, this is made by Tina. Thank you, Tina. Oh! So, you're probably running what's going on. So, a couple days ago. So, a couple days ago, Tina? You were literally... Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, is this me? My brother was in a dangerous game. The Bloods. Uh, okay. We didn't have a lot of money, so we killed for a living. I don't think that's what I don't think you make money off killing people. I think that that's a, a a consequence of people not paying you money back. You kill them, you know? Okay, whatever. I guess he didn't want me to live like that anymore, so he sold me to drug Ha! Huh? That so he sex trafficked you? And why did he so how can he so he sold me to drug dealer? <laughs> to a drug dealer? Who wrote this? I don't know how that's better, but he did. Hey sis, can we look at, he's a Trayvon, that's a white guy. I don't believe Trayvon. He doesn't look like a Trayvon at all. Yeah, about what? What's wrong? There's no easy way to say this, but I don't want you to live this life anymore. Okay, suicidal type beat. Huh? What are you talking about, Trayvon? I sold you. <laughs> look at him, he looks so disappointed. He's like, how can I sell you, sis? <laughs> oh, he's crying, you little bitch. <laughs> hey, look, you made a quick little lick, bro. What? I'm so sorry. I had to. I didn't want this life for you anymore. Trayvon, I think your priorities are just completely wrong here. I, I, I feel like this is not how it's supposed to happen. How's this better? Me living with a First of all, you being beat down by a stranger, okay? I'm sorry. Save it. I'm leaving. Yes, you are. You so he just sold you to somebody like you're a damn uh, a bride. He's here already, and if you try to leave, he will kill you. Oh my god! What is what is this story? He's a drug dealer. Okay. All right. I've never seen a black dude with lips that pink. This is not Mr. Popo. What the hell is this? He's a drug. He's a drug dealer. Do not cross him. Do not cross him or you will die. Okay. Sorry to intrude, boss. Said he's ready for the girl. Said he... I, there's some weird typos here. And this guy looks like that one guy that's like... That mean. It's kind of weird. Bye, Trayvon. <laughs> Bye, Witta. Don't... You sold your sister. What the crap? You don't want her to live that life anymore, so you sell her to a drug dealer, which is essentially in the same realm. Like, you're drunk. Go home, Trayvon. Up, oh, yeah, he didn't care. He fake cry. Look at what He's like, bye. Have fun. Have a beautiful time. So now that you're up to speed, let's go back to the story. I am not up to speed. <laughs> you are on speed. Oh. All right, yo. What? Some Karen wrote this damn story. How in the hell is he Day Day? How is he Day Day? He, he would never in the realm of anything in this world be named Day Day, a white guy with a man bun. What? What room would you like to see? My bedroom. <laughs> you mean our? <laughs> oh no! Damn! Our people cheeks. Seems about to get my back beat in. <laughs> That's not good. Oh crap. This is beautiful, right? Damn, I will lie. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How is he floating? 
How is he floating in this room? That's not possible. He's shorter than me, actually. A little short guy. Look, you might not feel like... Oh, hold on. Look, you might not feel it now, but you're going to like it here. I want to show you something. I'm like... <laughs> what is it? Oh, shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Damn. I get my own walk-in closet? You know what I'm saying? It ain't that bad. What's the catch to this? Because those are some nice heels over there, little baby. Look, I got on some... I don't know, I gotta zoom this up, man, because this Jane Poverty, I couldn't afford the actual Jane. Look at my kicks. Those are my kicks, yo. Like, clearly, I, I would like a walk-in closet. Thank you. Come on. Let's show you the rest of the house. I don't know how I got Day-Day's voices at, but... Jim, that's all he says. <laughs> and nothing else is Jim. Okay, he just walked in there and literally just said Jim. And then he went here and he's like, Library. Like, this guy is very awkward, and he somehow levitates to be taller than me. Like, you little short bastard. Like, he's literally floating in this kitchen. That's not even logical. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, I swear to... Okay, this is 100% poverty. This is a... A medding room? Alexa, what does medding mean? The adjective madding is usually defined as acting madly or senselessly, insane, frenzy. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for madding. Damn it, that's not even it. You know what? I, this is not even a real word. I, oh, there's so many typos. I love it. It's beautiful. Now go get ready. Y'all just went to five places. How's she going to get ready? Four, go get dressed. Okay. What am I gonna do with her? You're trying to have sex with her, Day Day, and stop floating in the air. He's like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm a genie. Damn, how does this go though? Well, he didn't tell me where we are going, so I don't know what to wear. Let me see what he has in the wardrobe for me. Damn, I'm bad as hell right now. This is a little exposing. Bro, it's y'all's bedroom. What are you talking about? Boss said he's ready for you. Come on. He really looks like uh, Robert Downey Jr. in Tropical Thunder. Oh my gosh, this story gets... What will happen in the next episode? Where is Day Day taking with her? Find out next time on Drug Dealers. Did you just take Dragon Ball Z? They literally just took the Dragon Ball Z phrase. What? If you like this story, support it. Um, We gotta go to the next episode so I can understand it. Here we go. Ball said he's written. I already did his racist voice. Come on, Jack. Where are we going? The car ride was long and silent. No one spoke a word until we got there. Okay. For him to be a drug dealer with a lot of money, we really didn't go anywhere special. Because you, I'm a basic hoe. I'm basic as hell. I got sold by my murdering brother. I got to do some business, so just stay behind me. Okay. Are they selling? Is that vinegar in the background? That's kind of weird. You know, I'm getting really tired of your attitude. Okay, abusive type beat. <laughs> oh man, come on, Day Day. So stay behind me and shut up. Okay. Look, he's still angry and he only said one word. Good girl. Whoa, 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 misogynistic much. Where are you? I got the two grand for drugs. Bro, Day Day. Day Day. Two grand, and he has the building surrounded for two thousand dollars. Day Day is a bum ass drug dealer. Like you need to go work at Costco. Give it up, bro. This guy sucks. Day Day is terrible. Like literally, this guy sucks. You have five minutes, or I'm killing her. Oh, why do I gotta die? Damn. So now that we go out, I want to get to know you, bro. You just threatened to kill me. Damn, come on. Come on, where? <laughs> Where's W-E-R-E? This is so poverty. <laughs> we're in public. Pull yourself together. Daddy, you just threatened to murder on the phone and said that you would like drugs in the building surrounded. Like, if the feds were after you, literally, that you just gave all the information that they possibly have. No. No. I'm not going to take orders from you like I'm a dog. Get in the car now. 
now. Get in the car. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting that one. I was not expecting that one. He's like, wait a minute. If I put my finger in my mouth, maybe it'll work better. Get in the car. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm also calm and nonchalant. Wrong question. Do you want to die? <laughs> and he laughs. Oh no, Jim Pickens. No. Okay, I will get in the car. Oh, once I'm about to die, then next time I'll listen. I'm an idiot. He's like, ha, 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 sounds about right. <laughs> oh, Day Day's a good guy. Take her home. Tell her I said wear something hot. Ball said, we're, this person doesn't know where, we're, we are, and where. Ball said, wear something hot. Try to escape. He will have you and your brother killed. Okay. What does he mean hot? It's 9.56. Nigga. 9.56 a.m. 9.56 p.m. Because there is sun coming out of the, the blinds. The sun is still out. I just got what he meant. Is this really happening? Why? What do you mean? Yeah. I got to pull myself together. Just do what he wants and I get to live. Okay. This is getting a little, a little twisted. Okay. Let's see what I got in here. This should be hot enough. Polka dots? In my years of piping, I don't think I've ever hit nothing in polka dots. Like, I've never been like, oh, that's, oh, that's so, so damn so hot. hot. Who wore an itsy bitsy teeny weeny polka, polka dot bikini? bikini? Nah, all right? <laughs> I hear his car. Here go nothing. <laughs> his ears go nothing. Here go nothing. <laughs> go turn out the lights. Nigga, you just walked in. You could have turned the lights off. You're wearing a suit. You didn't even clean up. Okay. Before I do this, this is my first time. I'm a virgin. Do as I said. <laughs> oh, no! Witta, in my head, I knew this was going to happen sooner or later. I didn't too. I didn't too. I didn't too expect. Oh, my God. I didn't expect it to be soon so soon now i can't even read no more he made me climb on top it went on for hours and we stopped at 2 a.m <laughs> it hurt it so bad it hurt it so bad he didn't even <laughs> no he didn't use a condom hey i don't condone what he did but who needs condoms next morning all caps do i Wait, why am I still in, why is he still in a suit? So he took his suit off and put it back on? No, it hurted so bad. <laughs> I'm not laughing at, you know, the situation just occurred. I'm laughing at, like, it hurted? Hurted? Get out of here. You will get used to it. Day Day's a dick. And that's also what he, uh, yeah. Uh, come here. <laughs> okay, what, what the hell was that? See, it wasn't so bad, right? What the what the hell was that? Yes, I guess. First of all, you will be bleeding. Tell Jack when you're ready and wait in the car for me. Okay. Oh damn, I cleaned up nice in like two seconds. Where are they going this time? Stay tuned for drug dealers, girl. Alright. This was incredibly. And I do mean incredibly poverty based. Alright. I don't know. I don't know what this was, but this is pretty bad writing. And I'm not going to waste my last ticket on it. But shout out to you, Tina. <laughs> All right. For making this incredibly poverty game. It was beautiful. Seven stars. Can I rate it? You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna show her love. I don't know how to rate things on here. I just found out about that. If you want more of this random weird uh, episode series, let me know in the comment section below. Give me your favorite ones that you think I should play and, and basically just destroy. Zero shout out.